Today we're working on a Sears Craftsman riding mower, and this is a Craftsman uh, 19.5, and it has the 42 inch mower deck on it. And we were out mowing with it and ran over a brick, and so it ended up breaking off some of the spindle housing brackets. And so today I'm going to show you how to replace a spindle housing. And there's a lot of complicated ways that you got to know how these washers and nuts go back together in certain order so they don't rub the top of the spindle and let's get started we chose on this job not to take the mower deck off although i might almost recommend that because it did make a lot of extra work first to go to replace your spindle one of the first things you're going to do particularly if you're not going to drop the mower deck is you got to get these nuts out of this plastic housing get out of here putty <laughs> get out of here putty this plastic housing that covers the pulley has to be removed to be able to get access to the to the top of the pulley on the spindle. Getting the nuts out of the bottom of this are very difficult. Back one, there's three of them. This back one was almost impossible to get out. Uh, it ends up getting a lot of dirt and debris built up around the nut, and it's very hard to get your socket over it. So we found that on the last one that we were able to spin this thing, rotate it like that. So we actually could rotate on the last one and give us access to the nut in the pulley. What we did was we took a something to try to kind of pick all the dirt, you know, out of the area of the nuts. At first we didn't realize it was actually uh, an Allen set head in the center of the nuts. It was a lot more difficult to try to get a three-quarter, whether you had an Allen set socket or, you know, a socket that fit this right here. Very difficult to get down inside here because of the angle, once you put it in, the angle won't get upright, you know, to be able to line up on top of the nut. Found that using your quarter inch drive, you know, with an extension, you know, that was able to get right on top of the nut and actually be straight up and down. It's a nine millimeter socket that fits on top of these uh, nuts on that plastic housing. When you're going to remove your spindle, there's basically three bolts that come in from the top of the mower deck. One, two, three back here. Okay, you also notice this bracket is on one of the nuts and it kind of sticks up like that. And then this other thing, if you got it mixed up, this was the brake that was supposed to stop the blades from turning when you disengage the... I'm going to be back in 60 seconds and I'm going to show you exactly the way that this is supposed to go to back together as well as some of the diagrams from the manufacturer and we'll discuss exactly what keeps it from rubbing on top of these um, spindle housings. Okay, before we finish this repair, I need about 60 seconds of your time to check to see if you need e any eternal repair. You probably think to yourself, eternal repair, what's that? Well, let me pose a question to you. Are you a good person? And I'm sure many of you out there watching this video right now, you're probably really nice folks, okay? Let's put the same question against God's standard, the Ten Commandments, okay? One of the commandments says, thou shalt not lie. And I'm sure if you're honest with yourself at some point in your life, you've told at least one small lie before. We all have, I have too, okay? Another one of his commandments says, thou shalt not steal. And I'm sure if you're honest with yourself again, at some point in your life, even no matter how small it was, you've probably stolen some small item, okay? Those rules define what sin is, okay? And if you broke even one of those rules, such as lying and stealing, that means you've sinned. We all have, okay? There isn't anybody that hasn't. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The punishment for sin is going to hell or eternal separation from God. But the good news is that Jesus Christ came he took a brutal beating on the cross. He was sacrificed on the cross, went to the grave. Three days later, he arose, and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross is he was taking the punishment for my sin and for your sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was and what he did and you repent, okay? For the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Many of you are probably thinking, hey, I'm a good person. I've done so many nice things in my life for people. Surely God wouldn't look on me unfavorably. But the Bible actually says that by grace, you've been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The only way to be reconciled for eternity with Jesus Christ in heaven is through putting your faith and trust in what he did personally for you on the cross, taking your punishment. Okay, now let's get back to our repair. And I'll have some more information on it for you on that at the end of the video. When you go to reassemble your pulley on top of your spindle, notice that the washer 
that came off when you took it apart, if you weren't paying attention, goes underneath the pulley and the flange nut goes on top of the pulley. This is real important because the washer makes a spacer that keeps the pulley from rubbing on the top of the spindle and the spindle bearing. Okay, here's that washer. It goes on top of the spindle first and that spacer keeps that pulley from rubbing on the top of this flange. When you go to look for your new spindle, you'll notice that it sears parts direct. Uh, these things are about four times as much as they are on eBay. So we chose to go ahead and try out the eBay deal. Got um, two spindles, two blades, and two pulleys, and a belt you know, for $55 and some change. These probably cheap Chinese parts. But it's an old mower, so you know it's only got so much life left in it. These new spindles that came off of eBay, I'm not going to attest to the quality of this, but I did notice that the bearing seems to be awfully loose on the shaft inside the spindle. You see how as I push the bottom you can see the bearing raise up on top. Although one further comment about the loose bearings I would make is after we got the nut really tight on top of the pulley, it doesn't appear that there's any type of play going up, up or down. But possibly the nut tightening it down actually is locking down that you know that spindle bearing so it's not sliding up and down on the shaft. Hey I hope this video has helped you on the repair that you're working on right now. As far as the eternal portion I was talking about, if you're not sure who God is and if he really exists, I encourage you to pray like this. Say, God, if you are real, if you are out there, I pray that you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way. And when you make that kind of prayer, he's going to answer you and he's going to show you exactly who he is. And at that point, you will know he's real. At the point in time you know he's real and you're ready to accept what Christ has done for you and know that you have eternal salvation with him in heaven, the gospel is so simple. You just pray like this. You say, Lord, I acknowledge that I've sinned and I've fallen short of your glory. I know that you have paid a price for my personal sin on the cross. I know you were the Son of God and that you were resurrected and taken my place on that cross. And I thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. That's how simple it is. But here's the catch. Just saying those words doesn't do a thing for you unless the heart believes the words you're saying. For the gospel says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, which I just did, and you believe that God raised him from the dead, the believing part is where salvation is. Salvation only comes through faith and believing. So anyways, I appreciate you watching. If you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com. That's eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot of other interesting repair ideas and also some more information on your walk with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a good day.